Greetings, comrade. Today, we're doing a review on a very strong Russian weapon. It's going to be Echo 1 RPK. So, it's full metal. It has real wood furniture. It has steel body. Um, good thing to note about weapon is that it has two side rail mount. So, if you're a weak capitalist and feel need to put red dots, a cog scope, hybrid sights, and ignore beautiful, perfectly handcrafted, adjustable rear and front sight, Stalin is looking out for you, my friends. So, we have here, it has 500 millimeter 6.06 .06 barrel. This is effective high suppression DMR light machine gun. Now, it's not set up like conventional light machine guns. This comes with two 800 round AK high capacity magazines. It's good for suppressive fire, but it's good for suppressive fire at long range. It weighs in at 9.5 pounds, or 4.3 kilograms. So, as far as light machine gun goes, it's actually pretty light. It's good for long engagements and for a longer time. It's wired to here. You need a special Phillips head screwdriver to get butt plate off, and it has large type battery connector. Now, like most Red Star AKs, it does have lipo ready potential. Now, just because you can use high powered lipo doesn't necessarily mean you should, but I'll talk more about that when we're looking at Zaknikov personal weapon. It has a 7mm steel bearing. So you can find all information about Echo One guns on the website. It was uh, declassified many times ago. It has a 3 steel torque system and gearbox. And it has a factory M120 spring. So there's no reason you can't reach out and touch Uncle Sam when he's hiding behind the bunker like a coward he is. It has adjustable front sight and adjustable rear sight. Now, is airsoft is not real life. You're not going to need to hit Joel from three miles away. With 500 millimeter barrel and 420 FPS with point twos, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, we're looking at the difference between the RPK and the RPK 74. Now, this, no, I, I move, you keep camera still. This is my personal OMG, is Echo One OMG, or as like, or translated in Russian is Oh My Goulash. So, the uh, primary difference between this and RPK 47 is this shoots little less hot, shoots about 400 feet per, per second, as advertised on the website. Now, I have chronoed at 415 with point twos. So, it shoots less FPS, but it has higher rate of fire than RPK, about, uh, about five rounds per seven, per five rounds per second, then using 11.1. Now, I have been using 11.1 LiPo with the 15C discharge rate, and it's been running smoothly for a very long time now. Um, the only complaints that I've had with personal rifle is that rear sight is uh, it's probably been tampered with by some capitalism we are trying to make it better. You know how these people are with their AKs and they just totally ruin beautiful guns and try to Americanize them. It's probably an issue. That and uh, was display model when I got it. So. so rear sight will fall off. So I have tactical Stalin band on it and the front sight, it, it doesn't work in there very well, it doesn't adjust, it just kind of falls down. But it's airsoft, I'm shooting 17 rounds per second, why do I need to aim? <laughs> I just, I don't know. Biggest key, key feature between RPK-74 OMG and RPK-47 is this has folding stock. Now, it has hole. Right here, you'll need a small key 
Or if you're like me, you just take bullets and you push it in there, and it will fold the stock down. To unhinge stock, there's button on back you push. Uh, don't be like me when you just try to rip it, it just break hinge inside. Uh, I'm a very strong Russian, and so I break guns all the time, but so it's not normally the case. So just be careful when you're unfolding it, but it's good for holding position or for moving up and securing strong position. So all in all, I have been very personally pleased with AK-74. Uh, it, it's very strong. It is holded up very well for me on the field. You can see it's very dirty. It's, it, it has gotten many people out and it has not filled me yet. So if you're looking for true light machine gun, because I have played with classic army N249, is, is 17 pounds loaded with good BBs and battery and such. It's just, it's, it's a light machine gun. It's 9.5 pounds. It's way lighter. It's not as good on maneuvering in CQB environment, but hey, you're Russians. You don't need CQB environment. You shoot through the walls. It's what it's for. So, all in all, um, use a version 3 gearbox. Um, you can use pretty much any kind of battery, short of long stick battery in stock. He has large type connectors. I'll be uh, changing mine to Dean's, but you can just use adapter that comes with m most smart chargers and use regular 9.6 volt battery. It's happiest in gun. Remember, uh, it has a 30 day manufacturer's warranty to the Echo One, or you get the gun from us, you get 90 day warranty. Not that you'll need it, for I've had this since May and it's been holding up very strong. So, we'll move on now to the FPS test. I had brain fart, comrade. It's been a long day. Hey guys, this is Aiden with Airsoft RS Tact. We're going to be doing a chrono test with the Echo One Red Star RPK 47. All right, let's go. This is using 0.2 gram BBs. So as you can see, it's reading just around 390. All right, next is gonna be the rate of fire test. All right, now here's the rate of fire test using an 11-1 LiPo battery. Also, Zaknikov, the filthy communist, got it wrong. It's actually a small type Timia connector. All right, here we go. Hearing that? Yeah. Greetings, comrade. Just remember, when you're fighting for the motherland, Make sure they're using full eye seal protection. And you're carrying strong Russian gun in gun bag so you don't get shot by real guns. They don't heal as easy. Be safe. Have fun. Or else.